Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Sweeney, and it's about that time for me to declare my hashtag Tuesday motivation, which is a much needed drink. Because it's almost four o'clock, the market's there about to close, and it's time to cheers the session away. You know what time it is. It's happy hour here in the Big Apple. Now U.S. stocks, they are lower this Tuesday, led by healthcare as corporate earnings season continues to kick off while oil prices, they have fallen from one-year high levels, now crude. That's where we're going to begin this afternoon. Futures down more than a third of a percent to trade just above $51 a barrel. This has worries that a production cut by OPEC may not be enough to help ease the market's supply glut. Remember, oil prices receiving a boost yesterday after Russian President Vladimir Putin said that Russia is ready to join a proposed cap on oil output by OPEC and non-OPEC members. Now, U.S. crude also pressured by a stronger dollar. Alcoa, meanwhile, kicking off the earnings season on a sour note, reporting weaker than expected quarterly earnings. Shares down more than 6.5%. And Asia mixed overnight. When you have all of this combined, you have yourself a session of definite triple-digit losses heading into, into the close. Let's take a look now to see how the markets are shaping up to close out this, the second trading session of the new week. And on the corporate front, building supplier Fastenal posting weaker than expected results, sending the stock down 2%, and other companies sl scheduled to report this week, Wells Fargo and J.P. Morgan Chase. Kick back, relax, grab yourself a drink. I'm ready to run out of here, clean my glasses off a little smudgy, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow morning from Modern Wall Street. I'm James Swinney.